Hello everybody and welcome to our new complementary tutorial of how to construct a static model in uh, Bitrail uh, or uh, Schlumberger Bitrail GNG uh, We already started with uh, if you have a, a hard copy map and digitize it into Neuromap software we already imported these uh, contours into Bitrail and generated these two surface top and bottom as a surface in Bitrail using the digitized map. Today we are going to show you how to construct a very very simple grid uh, to be ready for reservoir simulation study. The available issues or available materials in our, our tutorial we have surface top and bottom which is our regime as well as fold we are going to make an, another fold with very very simple way and more realistic than the previous one uh, once you go for structural model and click on define model let's name it a new model let's say two because i already generated an old one and click OK. You will see a new model too already generated here. And go for home tool palette and choose a fault model. You have to have to be in 3D because if you are in any other different window, you will never get this uh, this buttons active once you are uh, selected uh, this fault model here just put a nodes for a while we can use this option add pillar by end point and choose linear for simplicity we can discuss the, the different issues here different options which is vertical linear elastic or curvy this is the complexity of the fault but in our simplest form we are going to use linear one then click here to add nodes double click here here just zoom out here and add another one okay now the fault is not going to be realistic so this one is no longer valid just undo and yes and go here and put the three points at the start point end point as well as in top here okay let's see what happened in 3d view now you have as only three, uh, three nodes just click here manipulate pillar or shape points and move this x upward or downward okay You have to have these two two pillars yeah okay. you need to move it vertical on the time being then later on we can move them the nodes on lateral view if wanted or needed okay this green one need to looks to be moved inside right here you can play this um, this plan later on uh, but for this tutorial purpose we can use the available simplest form of 
the fault if you agree with this layout of fault just right click here on fault model and convert to fault surfaces once you choose this option you will find the fault already generated here as a fault surface now you can remove this node safely now we have a false and top and bottom you have top and bottom surface as well as false let's go back for structural modeling and click on symbol grid uh, you have two main issue or two options skeleton only or insert surface in this tutorial we are going to show you the skeleton only later on we can use the other option with it which is uh, surfaces uh, for top limit I asked the software to be surface which is our wash due top point to this map also for bottom limit bounded by our bottom for geometry we can use for a while automatic geometry and uh, I prefer to use X increment and Y one by one I know it is very very high uh, high accuracy and heavy for loading but uh, for this model specifically uh, we use a very small one so for educational purpose we can use one by one okay then apply and okay once you click OK, you will find the 3D grid already uh, generated here and displayed below. Just remove everything and go for 3D view, 3D grid. Uh, click on skeleton, top maiden base. You see this grid box already generated and uh, not ready for simulation because need some uh, some properties to be filled inside right just right click on skeleton and choose the time series for top and bottom negative four thousand and till four 4,500 4, meter ok for setting go for solid show color as z map z value so for grid lines choose color z value and click apply now you see the, the depth varied by color okay you can also display the contour lines show contour by increment or of 50 meter and with let's say three yes this is for very simplest way to construct a very simple grid okay on the next tutorial we can show you how to fill this uh, grid cells by properties let's say uh, netto growth permeability porosity and hydrocarbon or water saturation okay have a nice day thank you for watching